Hey, my peeps. Guess what time it is? It's rant time. Yay. Okay. So I have something wrong with one of my wheels. I think it's the bearings. My mechanic had mentioned it the last time, but I had so much stuff done to my car that I, he said, oh, it can wait. So it's time now. So I made arrangements with my mechanic to drop my car off tonight. So yesterday I reserved from budget rent a car, uh, a car, and I paid in advance. I paid for it for three days. I got it for anyway, just to give my mechanic enough time. So tonight I go down to budget to get my car. No car. They don't have not one car in the lot. All right. So what did I reserve? Like fucking air? <laughs> she says, well, six people did not return their cars. So you're trying to tell me that six people that were supposed to return their cars today did not return their cars. Like six? I mean, I can see one or two. Six? All right. Anyway, so what am I supposed to do? She says, well, I'll call you tomorrow when a car comes in. You'll get the first one. What am I supposed to do tonight? Hmm. Whatever. So I get my car and I call the 1-800 number. They inform me that MacArthur Airport, Nicelip, has rentals. But I said, I don't think I can rent there because generally, first of all, you have to have a flight um, if you're using a debit card. It, Otherwise, you need a major credit card. I don't have a major credit card at this point. Remember, I'm a debit card user. So <clears throat> I call them anyway. Yes, they have a car. And yes, they'll honor my, my, my debit card because I had the reservation already. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. What? It's going to be $111 more. Huh? It's almost twice as much. No, I'm not paying $100, $111 more. You people screwed up. I made a reservation. There's no car for me. I need a fucking car, and I need it right now. Nope. So I told them, no, nah, don't think so. Mm -mm. So I'll just wait till tomorrow morning. So anyway, long story short, budget called me because it's, it's like 15 minutes before closing. It's 50, it's a quarter to seven, and they close at seven. Somebody finally returned a car. So I got that car. Nice, nice Toyota camera. Anyway, so I got my car. I'm good. Okay, number two. Okay, so I made a um, TikTok video earlier today, um, a little ditty about Samhain, my my, uh, my Sabbath, my very sacred Sabbath, by the way. And it's just a little ditty about, you know, what it's about and how we honor our ancestors. And, and I have I have a soft spot for, for the potter's field. And, you know, for people that were forgotten or whatever. So, you know, I honor those people. I honor anybody that's come before me. So, <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, someone has the audacity to DM me on my Facebook that they would never honor hardened criminals. And they would only pay tribute to the people they love. Where the fuck did... I never said hardened criminals. I was referring to the unknown, unwanted, and unloved and our ancestors. Like, And you know what? If somebody in that potter's field, because they came from the almhouse, the poor house, okay? So maybe that person in that plot right there, number 10, whatever, stole a loaf of bread in 1902 and got arrested and put in jail because he was hungry and he was poor. So I can't honor that person because he was hungry and poor and he stole a loaf of bread. Like, I never mentioned hardened criminals to begin with. But what the fuck? I'm not even talking about that. This is a sacred, sacred Sabbath about our ancestors and the glorious dead. That's all I said. So if you don't know what you're talking about or not paying attention to what I'm talking about, mind your business. That's all I got to say for today. Merry meet, merry part, merry meet again.